In this video lecture, we will cover the anatomy and physiology of the stomach of a ruminant animal as well as the stomach of a monogastric animal. A ruminant animal has a stomach with four different compartments. We have the rumen, omasum, abomasum, and reticulum. The monogastric stomach also has different parts or sections. We have the cardia, which is this area here, the fundus, the body, the pyloric antrum, and the pylorus. So for our ruminant animals, they have a reticulum. This reticulum is the little light pink part of this stomach. The reticulum has a honeycomb-like appearance to it. It collects large feed particles for further breakdown. It is also known as the hardware section of the stomach because it collects any materials that aren't meant for digestion by an animal. Then we have the rumen of the ruminant stomach, which is the largest part of the stomach. It's this kind of darker pink area here. The rumen of the ruminant stomach serves as a fermentation vat. This fermentation vat processes materials into energy and cellular building materials. It also mixes and stirs the food. This part of the stomach of the ruminant animal allows for regurgitation and eructation. Eructation means burping. Then we have our abomasum. Our abomasum is this yellow part of this ruminant stomach here. The abomasum is also known as the true stomach of the ruminant animal. The true stomach helps break down microbial protein and undigestible intake protein for absorption by the small intestine. The omasum of the ruminant stomach is this darker red area here, this section of the stomach. This section of the ruminant stomach filters and absorbs water. So that wraps up the anatomy and physiology of the ruminant stomach. Moving on to the stomach of a monogastric animal. In the monogastric stomach, we have a cardia, which is this area here between the fundus and body of the stomach and the esophagus. This cardia contains a cardiac sphincter that prevents backflow of food into the esophagus. Then we have the fundus and body of the monogastric stomach. The fundus and the body of the monogastric stomach serve for the same purpose. They expand as food enters the stomach and they contain gastric glands. Next on our list for the monogastric stomach is the pyloric antrum down here at the bottom of the monogastric stomach. The pyloric antrum is responsible for grinding the food. It also regulates the hydrochloric acid concentration of the stomach. It also contains gastrin producing G cells.
Last but not least, on our list of parts of the monogastric stomach is the pylorus, which is right here in between the pyloric antrum and the small intestine. The pylorus contains a pyloric sphincter that regulates the movement of chyme. Chyme is partially digested food. The pylorus also prevents the backflow of chyme back into the stomach by way of the pyloric sphincter. And that should wrap up the anatomy and physiology of the ruminant and monogastric stomachs. Once again to review, the ruminant stomach contains four sections. The rumen, which serves as a fermentation vat, is this large section. And then we have our reticulum, which breaks down the larger, larger particles of feed. Then we have our omasum, which filters and absorbs water. And then we have our abomasum right here, which serves as the true stomach and helps break down the microbial protein and undigestible intake protein. And again, to review the monogastric stomach, we have the cardia, which contains a cardiac sphincter, this right here, which prevents backflow of food back up into the esophagus. Then we have our fundus and body here, which expand as food enters the monogastric stomach. These sections also contain gastrin glands. Then down here, our pyloric antrum. Our pyloric antrum grinds the food, regulates the hydrochloric acid content in the stomach, and also contains gastrin-producing G cells. Then last but not least, we have our pyloric pylorus. Our pylorus contains the pyloric sphincter that regulates the movement of partially digested food into the small intestine. It also prevents backflow of this food back into the stomach.